Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvelously well. I'm very excited to be back with another plugin from Baby Audio. They make these incredible sounding inexpensive plugins. The reaction to every one of these videos we've done so far has been so fantastic. So thank you Baby Audio for letting us demo this. It is called The Comeback Kid. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. You can also go to Produce Like a Pro and sign up for the email list. Oh, and also if you hit the uh, notifications bell, you'll be notified when we have a new video. What I love about Baby Audio's plugins is they're easy to use. You can immediately understand how to work them. They sound amazing, and probably best of all, they're really, really inexpensive. This particular one, the Comeback Kid, is only $29. So I'm very excited to try it. It is a delay plugin. It has ducking features, apparently has reverb, and I suppose let's just get started. This is a song I recorded with Robert John and the Wreck. Their original guitar player here, Chris, who's absolutely phenomenal, played the whole track live. As you can see, there's only one edit here. I think I pulled him back, like, I don't know, maybe a note back in time. That's it, that's the only edit. An amazing guitar player. So why don't we take Chris's solo and try some delays on it? So I'm gonna loop the solo, no effects on. Probably a little bit of reverb that I already had on it. Let's have a listen to it in the track. So great solo, and I did have a delay and a reverb in my original mix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn that delay and reverb off, and we're gonna see if we can solve all the issues with just this one plugin. The graphics are so simple, God bless them. It's really important to me to understand a plugin really quickly. I don't know about you, there's so many great things coming out now, and if I have to spend even half an hour trying to figure out how to use something, that's not really how creativity works, is it? We come up with an idea and we just want to get in there and use it. So, we've got Shaper up here, which is low cut, high cut, attack and sustain. Uh, the attack and sustain sculpt the delays with flexible transient designers. Oh, okay, so basically, so high and low cut is gonna be useful if you want to trash out the delay, make it sound a bit more lo-fi, take out the low end, take out the high end, make it make, make it more of a mid-range. I do that a lot with delays because I don't really want a really super bright delay if I got like a ka ka ka. I don't want it to be because if it's super bright and too percussive, it takes my ear away. That's why so many of us like tape delays because they tend to come back darker. But here, obviously with a low cut, we can also get rid of some of the low end. But this attack and sustain seems very useful because if I can actually shape the transient on the delay, that would be really cool. We'll get to that on something a bit more percussive, maybe. I don't know, let's see what we got. Okay, so it's defaulted to quarter note. There's quite a few fun things up here. There's the tape, which is gonna add warmth to it, meaning it's gonna soften the highs, maybe add a little bit of a bump, low end, you know how tape machines traditionally have like a little low bump on them. The swirl is gonna be fun because that's a phaser kind of effect, and the source is reverb. So this, all the effects that I had going here before have now been got rid of. I actually had two sets of effects. Now I can do it all with just the one. The panning here is gonna be quite ex interesting. Clicking that on turns it to mono back here, is stereo, so I've got a wider control and a richer control. The richer control says it adds dimension to your delays through left and right pitch variations. Ah! So I've turned the dry down and the wet up. Now let's have a listen. Absolutely insane. Now, I brought the wet down because I wanted to bring the overall volume down.
I mean, the solo is supposed to be insane, over the top, completely 60s, totally Hendrix, almost nonsensical, and that exactly does it. That's really fantastic. Steve is really percussive on the Leslie. Let's have a listen. <laughs> So that's just in the solo section there. So why do we do this? I'm going to send from the high here. So I'm going to grab a stereo auxiliary. I'm going to open our baby audio here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into pre-fade on this fader. We're actually going to mute the keys just so we can see what the shaping does. I'm really excited to hear what the shaping will do. I've gone to dotted quarter note. Makes far more sense. Gone to ping pong delays. So what I'm doing here is I'm increasing the attack, so using like a transient designer, turning down the sustain, just so if I can get these delays to be even more percussive. So that's a blend with dry and wet. Let's take the dry all the way down, the wet pulled back a little bit. Let's play it with all the elements. So now we have the live keys with that. Let's hear it in the track. Too good. I'm <laughs> bringing it down a little bit. It's pretty amazing. Here we go. All right, super cool. I'm gonna put it directly on a vocal now and just see what we can do with a vocal. This is great. I love it when things are really fun, really easy to use, and $29. Oh, she need him. Yes, yes, she need him. Oh, she need him. She's a gypsy. Gypsy, gypsy.
God bless them. What a fun plugin to mess around with. I think you could have a lot of uh, fun actually, if we get into automation here, like automating these things, like as the vocal went along on the outro, I could take these things and add more of the phasing effect, make the verb more, you know, just make it fade out and get crazier. Oh, All right, you know I'm having too much fun. Okay, so this is fantastic. I love stuff like this. You saw me using it in real time. This is what I like about this company is all of their plugins are really simple. They work really straightforwardly. I've got some little instructions here, which all it is is like, it says low cut plus high cut, turn your delays with analog modeled filters. That's it. There's no like drop down menu and five hours of paragraphs and blah, blah, blah. It just works. It just works and it sounds good. This is smart, they're very intuitive. They've been really great to work with that they send us a plugin to try and then most importantly, they let us give away three copies. So I know it's only $29, so you'll probably buy it anyway, but you can still enter to win one of three copies of the Baby, three copies of the Baby Audio Comeback Kit. Thank you ever so much, Baby Audio, for letting us try this out and for letting us give it away to our viewers here. So have a marvelous time recording and mixing. Are you into delayed effects? Have you tried stuff like this? What are your sort of techniques? Let us know. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing, and we'll see you all again very soon. Mm -hmm.